This conference is a, an opportunity to talk about a lot of the work that's going on, not just at Warwick, but in the wider UK and internationally as well. And again, I think the important thing is we've got a, a broad range of stakeholders here. We've got not just the researchers, we've got the manufacturers, we've got suppliers, we've got people from government, and they're all able to learn from each other. And to be able to make the most of this opportunity, this essential need for the country, uh, we need everybody to be talking, and that's what we're hoping that we're facilitating with this conference. I think that this is a great opportunity because there is undoubtedly a great need uh, to, to, to protect the environment and we need sustainable transport and the, uh, the hybrid vehicle is, is one solution uh, for that problem. And uh, so I'm very encouraged by that because we've got research going on in the in universities in the West Midlands, we've got manufacturers, we've got suppliers coming together through the, the events like this conference and I think this is very, very encouraging for the future for the wealth creation here in the West Midlands. We can steal a march in the sense that I, I, I firmly believe that within 10 years we'll all be driving hybrids. Um, Jim Press, who is the president of Toyota USA, is on record as saying that he believes that ultimately everybody will be driving a hybrid vehicle. It'll be either a fuel cell hybrid or a petrol hybrid, a gasoline hybrid. And so we can get in early with a long track record of uh, research and development in the university in this field and we can uh, disseminate that to the suppliers in the region and help them uh, be out first. Westfield Sports Cars make home-built cars and also turnkey factory-built cars um, and we make about 300 units a year. Uh, we've decided to, to come to Warwick University to try and make the, the first hybrid vehicle of this sort, uh, mainly because our customer base is, is looking at, at that type of thing. Uh, people want uh, low emissions now but they also want performance which you don't necessarily get with some of the vehicles that are out there. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to give them that. Fuel economy at the moment on that on that particular car is about 32 miles to the gallon with, with very good performance, 0 to 60 in about 5, 5.5 seconds. We'd, we'd like to reduce the 0 to 60 time to around 2.5 seconds and then increase fuel economy to about 60 to 70 miles per gallon. Is that possible? Should be. With this particular project we're exploiting the potential of hybrid technologies within motorsport and so we've built basically a prototype rally car and we're exploring gaining performance advantage through developing a hybrid system. Things are changing and changing fast. We're supported within this project by an organisation called EAMS uh, and EAMS is a government initiative um, which aims to explore green technologies in motorsport and to show that a car with green credentials can be competitive against conventional vehicles. Uh, EAMS have been very successful already using biofuels in touring car racing um, and we are now looking at hybrids as the technology of the future and we've already proven with this car that they are competitive in 2006 we've won our class in the Formula 1000 Championship uh, competing against conventional cars. <laughs>